Hello, my name is Dr. Rodriguez. I am a science professor. STEAM is an educational movement that combines science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. On the iSTEAM channel, we will introduce STEAM fields as access points for experiential learning, inquiry, and critical thinking. Today's episode, Investigating the Effects of Temperature Variation on Salivary Amylase Activity. Salivary amylase speed up the hydrolysis or digestion of starch into molecules of the reducing sugar such as maltose. Whenever Benedict's solution and maltose are heated in a test tube, a color change from blue to green, from green to yellow, from yellow to orange, from orange to brown, from brown to a brick red color occur depending on the concentration of maltose. Materials, six test tubes, one test tube holder, distilled water dropper bottle, 1% maltose solution, 1% amylase, 1% starch solution, Benedict's solution, boiling water bath, one water bath maintained at 37 degrees Celsius, one ice bath, and one marker. Procedure, use the marker to label six text tubes, one through six. Place the test tube in numeric order in the test tube rack. Add 20 drops of water, 20 drops of maltose to test tube one. Add 20 drops of water and 20 drops of starch to test tube two. Add 20 drops of water and 20 drops of salivary amylase to test tube 3. Add 20 drops of starch and 20 drops of boiled salivary amylase to test tube 4. Add 20 drops of starch and 20 drops of salivary amylase to test tube 5. Add 20 drops of starch and 20 drops of salivary amylase to test tube 6. Incubate all the test tubes 1 through 5 at 37 degrees Celsius. Incubate test tube 6 at 0 degrees Celsius. After the incubation period, remove the test tubes from the water bath and shake them gently. Add 20 drops of Benedict solution to the mixture in each test tube and place all the test tube in a boiling water bath for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, observe the mixture in each test tube and record the color. Write an explanation of your results. Your explanation must include a statement of the content and the incubation temperature of each test tube, as well as the reasons for the presence or absence of maltose. Record and explain your results. I hope this presentation was insightful. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you enjoy learning about STEAM. Please also share this channel with someone you think can benefit from or will enjoy the presentation of the iSteam channel. Hope to see you soon!